Tell them, Lemmy. Tell them what we do on this channel. What do we do? That's right. We breed rats. Hi, everyone. My name is Abigail, and welcome to Rat Breeding 101. Today I'm going to be doing a little introduction to the channel, as well as introducing you to all of my rats. So the reason I created this channel is when I started breeding rats, I noticed a severe lack of rat breeding videos that's specifically dedicated to breeding pet rats. Now, there are a multitude of channels that share awesome videos on recreational activities you can do with your rats, or the correct care to give to your pet rats, even training videos on how to teach your rats tricks and commands. There were also quite a few videos about how to set up and start rat breeding when you're breeding for feeders. In case you may not have realized already, breeding feeder rats and breeding pet rats require completely different things. When you're breeding for feeder rats, you're breeding on mass, you are breeding as much and as often as you can. You're not really focused on the health or the temperament of the rat. So you could end up with an aggressive rat, but it doesn't matter that much because it's going to be fed to a snake anyway. Whereas if you're breeding for a pet, there are a few things that are very important, including the health of the rat, the enrichment of the environment of that rat, the longevity of the rat, as well as their temperament and how they behave. Choosing your rats, setting up your rattery, and breeding for rats require a much more intricate system when you're breeding for pet rats. So I started my rattery quite recently, 2022 to be exact, after I tried to find myself some pet rats in Bloemfontein and could only locate rats in feeder bins. These rats were not healthy, they were incredibly timid. It took me quite a while to tame these rats. So, to me, the only logical conclusion was start a rattery. Because that's what you do, right? Normal people do that, right? They just start ratteries. I absolutely adore rats, and they are, in my opinion, some of the best alternative pets that one can get. They are clean, they are friendly, they are playful, they behave much like dogs. They become very connected with their owners because they are group animals. So today I'm going to give you a little in-depth look into the rattery and specifically at all of our rats. So let's get started. First off, I'd like to introduce you to the rats that are either retired or are only pets. These are rats that are a little older, may have had a litter or two, or have some kind of health or temperament issue that means that I will not be breeding them anymore. Usually in a rattery, you breed a rat once, maybe twice, but you don't want to breed that rat too many times or too often. When you're breeding for pets, you should only breed a female rat after six months. And then after her first litter, you should give her three months to recover. Females usually go into their version of menopause, around 18 months and by around a year to a year and a half old they are too old to safely be bred anyway so when you consider that at six months you breed a female there's a three month gap at this point she's nine months old another month for her to be pregnant and three months rest and she's already over a year old this is why we do not breed our females more than twice for other reasons, we have some females that have only been bred once or may never be bred, but we'll get to each of those. So this little lady has offered herself as our first introduction. This is Valkyrie, or Falky, as we call her. Valkyrie comes from Pretoria, and my father gave her to me as a gift when I had just got my first rats. Because we can only find feeders in Bloemfontein, he got her from an actual pet shop in Pretoria. Unfortunately, Falky came with a bunch of health issues. Uh, she had mites when she first arrived here, which I had to treat. Uh, there's still some scarring on her ear, and she also has some pretty severe respiratory issues, so she won't ever be bred. Next up, we have another Siamese lady. This is Pepsi. She is an incredibly sweet girl who has already given us one litter of only three pups because she was bred too young. We found her pregnant. She's only ever had one litter so far. She's what I might call soft retired, 
We don't know whether she will ever have a litter again, but for the time being, I don't plan on breeding her again. So for all intents and purposes, she is retired. Next up, we have our little screamer here. Um, you may hear her kind of screaming. It's not because she's in distress or because she is scared. You'll notice she has no issues. She will let you touch her. She will let you pet her. She will even lick you and give you affection. She is an incredibly affectionate rat. This is Aloy. Aloy has a screaming issue. She screams to communicate. And unfortunately, that is not something that you want in a rat. So we are likely not going to breed her again. Uh, but she is an incredibly affectionate and well-temperamented rat. And she has already given us one litter of 12 little puppies, some of which you will meet later on when we discuss our future breeders. Allie, can I put you down? This is one of our resident seniors. Her name is Robin. I have never bred her. We got her with her two daughters, who are two of our breeders. And she had got a little oopsie litter at her previous home. So for now, she's living with us, living her best life. She's a year and a half old now. So she is at an age where I am not comfortable ever breeding her again. So she's going to live her best life out here at Pocket Puppy Ratteries. Our other senior over here is Frost. She has also given us one litter of 10 puppies, only eight of which unfortunately survived. But you can also see she's quite old. She is a little too senior for me to be comfortable breeding her again. So even though we only got one litter out of her, I'm completely happy having her retired and just living out the rest of her days here at our battery. Last, we have Innocence, or Innie. Innie is the very reason that we started this rattery. You may notice Innie is blind. She was born with no eyes. We got her from our first feeder bin. She was our very first rat that we got along with one other female who unfortunately died because of a respiratory infection. And Innie will obviously never be bred because of her blindness, but she's the reason we started the rattery it is because we could only find rats that were unhealthy or blind from feeder bins and so a lot of this is thanks to her all right we have collected our next group of babies and we have quite the collection here these are our current breeders and future breeders so first of all one of our current breeders this is leia she's robin's one daughter uh she has two daughters here this is leia and her sister, Sydney. So these two are a little older, so they will each just be doing one breeding with our boy Lucio, who you will meet later. It's a bit of a test breeding, so we're quite excited for that, but we'll talk about that later. Then we have one of Pepsi's pups. This is Kimiko, and Kimiko has an incredibly sweet and gentle temperament. She loves people, she loves affection, so she's going to be a great breeder for some lovely uh, goody puppies and some lovely Dumbo ears. Then we have two very lovely and special ladies. This is Jess, and the one running on my shoulder right now is Tracer. These girls are Harley Carriers and will be bred with our Harley Carrier boy, Quissy, in order to hopefully produce a nice stable Harley line, which is our main objective here at Pocket Puppy Ratteries. We would like to establish a healthy, and strong line of Harleys with as little health issues as possible. If you're interested in a video specifically about Harleys and their health issues, then feel free to leave a comment. Now we move on to our little babies who are way in the future breeders. These girls are about six weeks old. This one right here is called Annie or Anakin. I know that's a male name, but we don't keep a lot of males here. And I really wanted someone called Anakin. So this is Annie. This here is Galadriel. She's called Galadriel because of her lovely champagne color. And she, along with Annie, are two of Aloy's puppies. Our last two of Aloy's puppies are Calypso over here, who is a lovely Dumbo hooded Agouti girl, and Widowmaker. You may notice we have quite a few Overwatch names because my husband is a fan. And last, but certainly not least, is one of Frost's girls. This is May. May is going to be a lovely Roan girl, just like her mom. And she has one of the most beautiful personalities of all of the puppies that we had in recent months. She is very affectionate and friendly and curious and is a bit of an escape artist. 
Now presenting our retired and only pet male rats. This is our very special old boy, our only retired male, Big Chungus. You can see why he's called Big Chungus. He is the largest rat at our rattery currently, although young Max, who you will meet later, is quite quickly catching up to him. But you may also notice he's a little older. We got him pretty old from a feeder bin and we couldn't bear to take him back when we realized he was old age. So he's sticking around at the rattery and taking care of the wieners. Next up, we have another Pepsi pup. This is Seal. And Seal is one of my husband's rats. So Seal will not be going anywhere, but he'll also not be breeding. Ezio is another of our rats who's quite healthy and happy, but will not be breeding, mostly because we don't have any current breeding plans for him. But we got him quite young, and so we've grown quite fond of him, and we can't imagine life without this lovely little boy. From one assassin to another, this is Altair. Altair is one of our rats that won't ever be bred because of health issues. It may not be audible in the video, but he has consistent allergies and respiratory issues. We have tried everything, including antibiotics, vinegar and honey water, and changing the bedding type that they use three or four times, and nothing seems to help. He is unfortunately from a feeder bin where the rats are incredibly unhealthy, kept in really bad conditions, and so we suspect that their genetics are just incredibly weak. For those of you who are interested into going into rat breeding, all rats are born with the mycoplasma virus. That's the virus that causes respiratory infections. Every rat is born with it. Mother passes it from her breast milk to her pups. So what you're looking for when you're breeding pet rats is a rat that is immune to the mycoplasma virus. In other words, if you have a rat like Altair who has constant breathing issues and you can hear it, you don't want to breed them because they will be passing that non-immunity onto their pups. Moving on, let's get to the fun part, the breeders. Starting us off today is a very special boy called Max and this is our only current active breeder because he is our only male who is older than six months and he has an incredibly sweet and gentle temperament. He absolutely adores affection. He will not let you open his cage door without giving him some love and preferably taking him out and playing with him. Following Max, another future potential Siamese breeder, and in fact, the inspiration for our little teddy here, is young Artie. And Artie is a boy who was saved directly from the jaws of death taken from a feeder container on the day that he would have been fed to a snake. Then we have our last Pepsi pup. This is Limmy. And Limmy is one of my absolute favorites. Don't tell the others. Unless Limmy's temperament takes a sudden turn for the worse when he passes six months, he will definitely be bred for his incredible personality and temperament. As promised, this is our Harley Carrier Boy. This is Quizzy, named after my brother, who got him for me as a birthday gift. And he will be paired with Jess and with Tracer to make some lovely Harley puppies when they are old, old enough. Next, we have this young little Agouti Dumbo Boy called Splinter, and he too was rescued from a feeder bin, but I absolutely adored his color and his ears and he's since developed an incredibly sweet and affectionate personality. He's a little shy, but he absolutely loves people. He always wants to come out and play, hang out with the other rats, and enjoy some time on the bed. Last, but not least, this is an incredibly special boy called Lucio, also an Overwatch character. And Lucio was discovered in a feeder bin, quite by accident. And at first, I simply wanted him for his lovely variegated spots. But then, we noticed this. This is potentially undermarked. This is a marking that we thought had been lost in the South African lines, and that somehow might have stuck around in feeder bins, or it could be a potentially entirely new mutation. But he is breeding with Leia and Sydney so that we can test that theory 
and see what results we get. Thank you all so much for joining us today and meeting all of our rats. We hope you enjoyed this little tour. We hope you're excited for future videos. In our next video, I will likely be discussing Harleys and Harley that we are getting next week, so stay tuned for that. If you like this video, make sure to click the like button down below and stay tuned for more ratty content.